Let me tell you or let me suggest to us that there are many things that we have never really experienced. There are a whole lot of things that we have never tried, we have never done. There are some things that we have perhaps desired to do and we've not been able to do them. And, and, and yet, uh, one thing that we can all say and agree that at some point or another in our lives, we have all experienced some kind of setback. Or maybe I'm by myself. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe it's just the people down front here who, who, who's experienced a setback. Let me check the house. How many of you really, at some point or another, experienced a real setback? What, what, what do you mean, a, a setback? I, I mean something that uh, you were going well, some disappointment uh, occurred, or, or some obstacle happened, or, uh, or you had a broken dream. And, and, and it can range from minor things to major things to big things to small things, a, a loss of job, a loss of a loved one, car trouble, sickness, a breakup of serious relationship, betrayal of a friend friend, loss of an investment, children, trouble, but I declare in here today that one thing that is common and that's we've all experienced a setback. My God, something uh, that comes along and is an interruption. It's a, a, a bump on the road. It, uh, it's a blip on the screen. It's a, a, a nail in the tire. It's a monkey wrench in the spoke. It's a, a knock in the head. It, it's a slide into a ditch. A time when all seemed well and then something occurred uh, that throws things out of line. I'm not by myself when I declare that I've had some setbacks in my life. I don't believe I'm in the right place there are th these are times that are full of setbacks because just when you think you've got it all together uh, it looks like the enemy tries to cause it to fall apart I don't have anybody just when you get one problem solved it seems like a dozen more crop up I can't get any help us here just when you finally are about to get on your feet somebody pulls a rug from beneath you I don't have anybody we've all experienced some setbacks when these setbacks occur we will discover that people handle them differently yeah you understand the key is knowing how to handle your setback uh, for some a setback will cause them to lose it and they will never bounce back but I don't know about you look at your neighbor and say neighbor not me not me I won't be one of those for others they face the setback but they know that they must bounce back and they do. Now, now understand, understand, we've seen a whole lot of folk experience a whole lot of setbacks and, and, uh, and then we've seen where they seem to stay on the same slide downward and then there are others who experience a setback and they go on an upward mobility ride. They, they begin to deal with their situation. Come here, Tiger Woods, not uh, too many months ago, he experienced a setback. I don't have anybody. You, uh, you understand now setbacks can uh, be things that uh, can be self-inflicted and they can uh, be things that are uh, outside inflicted or inflicted from some external source. But the truth is, is that Satan is behind every setback whether it's one that I induced or whether it's one that has been cast upon me and and Tiger Woods you know his story I don't have to uh, rehearse it or uh, say it uh, you know what he went through and you know that uh, that uh, major sponsors started to drop him they uh, they began to cut him off for because of what he experienced they uh, they began to distance themselves from him because of 
uh, what he had done. Yes, uh, he was ashamed of what he had done. And he was experiencing a setback. Wife threatening to leave. Family uh, just about uh, losing it. And, and then uh, even the folk on the golf tour started to have their little say about Tiger and what they felt about it and all the naysayers started to talk about Tiger and they began to back off. I don't condone wrong in anybody, any place but I do know that we have all sinned and come short of the glory. I don't have anybody in there. I don't know where they find these self-righteous people uh, who are big and bad enough to uh, get on public television and radio and look down their long narrow, uh, yes and self-righteous knows that somebody else because the truth of the matter is that if the story had been told uh, you know where I'm going we can move his name and insert somebody's name as a matter of fact you, for some reason or another you can put my name there because I recognize that if it had not I wish I could get some and and, and he experienced a setback, setback. He went into treatment. He was trying to deal with his issue. He was trying to deal with his circumstance. And, and finally, 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 uh, he uh, begins uh, to, to bounce back. And, and he begins to move forward. He has a press conference. They criticized the press conference. It didn't seem like he was real. It didn't seem like he was sincere. It didn't seem seem to move me much and I don't know about you but uh, I'm not living for you I, 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 because I understand that folk don't have a heaven nor a hell to put me in and 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 and, and, uh, and so uh, uh, and then uh, he he comes back this week and and he says, I, I got to get back to what I know how to do. I got I to gotta bounce back from this setback that I've experienced. And, and, and so Monday, he goes out and goes down to Georgia to get ready to play in the Masters. He, he, he waited to get uh, to one of the major, major golf tournaments of the year. And, and, uh, and so he steps out not knowing if he's going to be criticized or if he's going to be ostracized if, he, if they will call him everything but a child of God and he goes to the masters and, and uh, you can see on the course that uh, he's bouncing back from a setback. Do I have anybody? Now, I, I appreciate and I, I don't criticize him. I thank God that uh, he recognized that he got away from what he says were his roots uh, religiously and all. And, and uh, I don't know about you and Tiger and anybody else can go wherever they want to to get their setback started. He went to the Masters Golf Tournament. But I've learned that if I want to bounce back from my setback, it ain't the master's golf tournament I go to, but it's the master. His name is Jesus, and there's something about the name Jesus. And if you want to bounce back from a setback, you better get to the master's. Do I have anybody? Oh, I don't have anybody. You better get to the master. You better get to the master because it's going to be at the master's where you're going to get your turnaround. It's going to be at the master where you're going to get your breakthrough. It's going to be at the master where you're going to bounce back from your... I wish I could get somebody that would help me in here. Tell your neighbor, it's at the masters. It's at the masters. It's at, it's at the masters. You, you can go any other place. You can run any other place, but it is not until you get to the master's feet that you're going to really be able to bounce back from your setback. And so the Bible tells us that this young man in this text by the name of Joseph. Joseph was uh, his father's son of old age and his dad was real proud and, and uh, you know that he uh, was able to produce this child in his old age you know 